why should we care about global seafood production? Well, for several reasons, but one of them is one out of ten person in the entire world lives off general seafood production. So it's not only the fisherman or the person driving a fish farm, but it's also their family, the truck drivers that is driving the seafood around, the employee of the supermarket. So it's a lot of people that make their livelihood out of seafood production. And then when we talk about the amount of the seafood production that is produced annually in the whole world, it represents one billion ton. So what is really one billion? It's an enormous amount, but what is it really? Well, if we, you were to take one billion steps, you could actually walk around the Earth at the equator 15 times. That's how big one billion is. So it's an enormous amount of seafood that is produced annually on the Earth. Now, which are the countries that produce most of the seafood? So not all countries are equal in that respect. And we have China first, that really leads the seafood production because it represents and produces 40% of the entire global seafood production uh, in, the, on, uh, in the world. It is then followed by Indonesia that represents 10% of the seafood production. Then we have Vietnam and India that both represent a little bit under 5%. So those four South Asian countries, they represent over 50% of the total seafood production. Over half of the total seafood that is produced in the world come from those only four countries. So we should really pay attention to what happens in those countries. But I would like to focus on the number five, the fifth country or the fifth group of country that produce seafood in the world. And that is the European Union. So let's focus on that. So the seafood uh, produced uh, in, the, in Europe um, amounts for a little bit over 3% of the total uh, global production. So let's have a look at how it is divided up. So it's divided up into two main production sectors. So the marine fisheries in, in blue and the aquaculture in green. So the marine fisheries represent 80% of the European uh, production while the aquaculture, so that includes also the freshwater production, amounts for 20%. Let's focus first on the marine fisheries, so 80% of the total um, seafood production in Europe. Which countries contribute the most to this production? Well, again, it is very unequally um, uh, balanced, and we have four countries that represent half of the European fisheries. And those countries are Spain, the UK, Denmark and France. Those represent half of the, the total uh, fisheries in Europe. Now, we are in Norway and we all know that Norway fishes a lot. We are a fishing country. And indeed, that is true. Norway fishes a lot, but Norway is not an EU member state. But Norway is part of the uh, economic, um, uh, European economic area. So in that respect, Norway contributes very much to the European seafood production, and particularly the marine fisheries. And when it comes to Norwegian production, it equals half of the European marine fisheries. So all those four countries, Spain, UK, the UK, uh, Denmark and France, fish just as much as Norway. So Norway, very important partner in fisheries. So now let's talk about what fish species are exploited. Which are the fish species that are fished mostly by the European Union? Well, the European Union exploits over 500 species of fish and, and, um, and uh, well, general seafood. And only three fish species actually contribute for half of the marine fisheries. And those species are herring, uh, mackerel and brisli and sprat and um, and sardines. So those only four, three species really represent half of the marine fisheries in Europe. Then again, what about Norway? Well, most Norwegian know the sentence "in cod we trust," and that is very true. Cod is the main species that is harvested by the Norwegian fleet. So cod is a very very important uh, fish species in uh, in the European uh, Union. Now if we focus on the 20% that makes up the, marine, the uh, aquaculture in Europe, 
So those green blocks. What happens there? Well, again, uh, Europe, uh, the main uh, aquaculture production in Europe comes from very few species. And two species really are, uh, represent the bulk of the aquaculture production in Europe. And 50% is composed of the sea mussels, so the blue mussels and Mediterranean, Mediterranean mussels um, particularly, and then uh, salmonids, so trouts and salmon. Those represent really the bulk of the European production. Over 80% uh, in terms of weight are represented by those species. Then again, what of Norway? What do we produce here in Norway? Well, we've all seen a lot of fish farms along the Norwegian coast. And most of those fish farms, they produce, again, salmonids, so trout and salmon. Those are the two main species. And in terms of production, well, the Norwegian production equals the amount of aquaculture production in the entire Europe. So again, Norway is a very important partner when it comes to uh, seafood production. Now if we consider not only the EU member state, but also the entire um, uh, economic, um, European economic area, so that includes countries such as Iceland, Norway, the Fiori Island, where does the fish come from? Well, the fish comes mainly from the North East Atlantic. So three quarters of the total uh, EU production comes from the North Atlantic. So this region. Now, we have all heard about global warming. And this region uh, of uh, the world, so the North East Atlantic, is one of the regions of the world that is predicted to increase most in terms of temperature. So what will be the consequences for, with regard to the seafood, the European seafood production, in terms of uh, economic consequences, in terms of social consequences, and in terms of ecological consequences? Well, those are questions that the Climb Fish uh, project is trying to answer. <laughs>